Welcome. The purpose of this video is to provide you with a little bit of information around incident air monitoring and the expectations that are placed on SES. So what is incident air monitoring? So the EPA has a legislated responsibility for air monitoring, but SES is providing critical support to the EPA in the delivery of information to incidents on air quality data. So EPA has actually issued SES with 10, 10 incident air monitoring kits, which have been strategically placed around the state. These kits support an existing network of permanent EPA air monitoring stations. Vic SES have an extensive network of locations across the state. This means we can respond quickly to air pollution events. This will enhance the state's capability to respond to incidents. These kits have been designed to measure smoke particles of 2.5 micrometres and that these smoke particles are approximately 30 times smaller than the thickness of the human hair. There are three main components that allow it to do this. The main is the dust track enclosure unit. They have a battery enclosure and a tripod. The unit can run for seven days during an incident and measure the air quality. The data collected from the unit is sent to EPA and incident control centres. The information is used to make decisions and communicate potential risks to the community. These kits will be deployed via the RDO at the request of the EPA. It is important to note that SES has four hours to deploy and activate these kits once that initial activation has occurred from the regional duty officer. These kits can be deployed anywhere in the state and it's important to note that we've got no expectations for crews to stay with the equipment when deployed. Each one of these kits are deployed not just to bushfires. They can be deployed at any fire that has potential smoke impacts on the community. In July 2017, air quality data collected by incident air monitoring equipment at, an incident, at the incident cooler roof was used to generate emergency warnings to the community. To support the activation, we've got a number of pieces of doctrine. The first one is Standard Operating Procedure 013. It's called Incident Air Monitoring. This SOP outlines equipment readiness, deployment, maintenance and repairs, and the expectations. EMV has got JSOP 03.419, Incident Air Monitoring for Community Health. Incident Air Monitoring just doesn't stop at the deployment. We have a, an, a reporting process that still uh, is required as per any other job. We have modified IRS um, and that now has a primary tasking as deploy IAM or deploy incident air monitoring. If you do have any further questions about incident air monitoring, I'd like you to refer those questions to your regional operations manager in the first instance. Thanks for your time um, and appreciate the work that you do in, in support of the EPA.